Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And let me just say, Mr. Chairman, how smart I think you are, because you have invited the Secretary of Transportation from Oklahoma to give testimony today. So uh, I've always admired you, but now I admire you more. I have to brag upon my Secretary of Transportation that's here today. He's, he's done a great Thank job you. for the state of Oklahoma. And all the other panelists are wonderful, too, not to take anything away from you, but I'm proud of my Oklahoma people. Uh, I had the opportunity to read Secretary Ridley's transportation report, and I'm very pleased that Oklahoma has been so aggressive and so on top of getting the stimulus money out the door and creating jobs and having their shovel-ready projects available, and they've been listed as one of the top five states in the nation being prepared and um, able to get the money out. I wanted to ask um, Secretary Ridley a, a question, though. I was listening to the Deputy Secretary talk about the difference between obligations and outlays and the amount of stimulus money that's being spent in the states. And I was looking at Oklahoma's figures in particular, and it seems to be about 50 percent of the outlays are now out into the economy versus the obligations, which Oklahoma has uh, a high percentage uh, out of the 465 million, we've obligated 420 million, as you testified, almost 90 percent of our money. But are we getting the money back to the contractors, those who have been awarded the contracts for the road projects in a timely fashion from the federal government, the obligated versus the outlay money? Uh, Congresswoman, uh, and I think it can be attributed to several factors. Uh, one, that we were able to move very quickly when the money became available on the 2nd of March. As the chairman pointed out, the uh, states had the responsibility that a certain percentage of those monies be obligated within 120 days after the uh, money became available. Uh, we, in our case, uh, we had to have approximately $163 million obligated in 120 days, uh, but we were able to uh, open bids on over $200 million worth of projects in 19 days. So moving quickly uh, early on enables you to have a good, strong construction season, and that's what we targeted. We thought it imperative to, even though Congress had allowed us more time, we felt if you really want to create jobs, you must do it during the construction season and, and take advantage, full advantage of that construction season. Consequently, by now, it, uh, a lot of the projects have been completed. Uh, more than 50 percent of the dollars that were allotted Oklahoma have been paid to contractors. We have, they've met specifications. We have uh, built, they've built the jobs as we have uh, prescribed and as they bid. All the testing has been completed. And uh, we're in the process of billing the Federal Highway Administration uh, because it is a reimbursement account. But we're at about $240 million, which is a little over 50 percent of the money. And I think it's attributed because we moved very, very early in the process. We, we took the chairman and, the, and this committee and Congress and the president very serious on the issue. Well, the, the federal uh, sec deputy secretary, excuse me, had talked about how they have they want to make sure there's a good check and balance system mm -hmm. on sending the money out to those who won the bids once the work is completed. Are they getting their money in a timely fashion from us? Y yes, they are, okay. uh, and uh, we, we feel very confident with that. Uh, part of the checks and balances that we did with the the recovery funds is we split funded all projects. That ensured that we tied a, a dollar amount, a fixed dollar amount of stimulus funds to each project. And if there were any overruns, uh, cost escalation, supplemental agreements, anything that would uh, that you would have in the course of uh, uh, prosecuting a project, which is very common, that they would not be paid with stimulus funds, they would be paid with other funds. That ensures that, that we targeted the stimulus funds for um, uh, uh, direct accountability from the conception of the project until it's completed. The dollar amount of stimulus funds will not change. 